All right, we got some special guests today, and it's, it's not Kevin. Oh. It's uh, not the master. Kevin's only special. We got, <laughs> we got almost all the shop. We've got some Filipinos here today. Yeah. So you guys know we import Jeep bodies, and we're always unloading them and all that stuff. So we've got the head dog here, Ramel. Extra hands. He's got his new gloves on we gave him today. <laughs> we got RC here. They're coming to visit us. So they, uh, luckily, we had a container show up today, too. Have you guys ever unloaded one? We've loaded some, but uh, never I think unloaded. This is my first You've time never been on the receiving end, so. <laughs> oh, just like. It's, it's going to be great. Wild. Sometimes <laughs> so, you open the door and crap just comes flying out. So we just got one in. They're going to help us unload it, so. <laughs> it's all right, me too. Look at this mess. It's not even falling out. Oh. <laughs> I don't know who your rope tires are, but they're pretty good. That is such a perfectly packed so, container. So, Philippines is known for the rope, right? Yep. Yep. Manila rope. Manila rope. Yeah. This Which, isn't Manila this rope. This is nylon but rope. this is good enough. They do like the rope for sure. Well, with the exorbitant prices of shipping right now, we have to maximize it so that not even a uh, cockroach can fit in. It is. Yeah. That, I, I will say that one's pretty, pretty tight for sure, so. All right, Uncle Scott's coming. You We're gonna. All this crap. I don't know, <laughs> Uncle Scott. Probably you. Uh, cut, the, what? cut the rope. And cut the rope fall. and watch it all fall. Jenga. Come on in, Jay. Jenga, Jenga time. Pass me some. I feel like I'm working. Oh, you got gloves on. Get the camera. Oh, this is hard work. Oh, fly a hundred thousand miles of work. Gotta earn your. They said they won't feed us if we don't work. <laughs> you gotta pay for your hotel room. <laughs> the damage deposit. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing, Kevin? Put them back in. Make sure these are all in alphabetical order. Yeah, alphabetical. This is probably not a good idea for somebody five nine. Let's not talk about height now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At least I know the gloves work. <laughs> <laughs> Those you We usually find like one little dust rag in here every time. <laughs> That's extra. You have to pay extra for rats and uh, lizards. <laughs> It's on now. <laughs> now you can say what you want. So how do you guys load these in the Philippines? Uh, we have like 10 Oompa Loompa. No, no forklifts. No forklifts. Like so they use manpower to load these. <laughs> they got little guys to fit up there too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's one there stuck. <laughs> forgot about that one. <laughs> Kevin always finds something in these things. Oh yeah. Don't you? Yep. It's usually dried up and not any good anymore. Yeah. It's definitely stacked full. I believe we got that one full, boys. <laughs> Good thing ramel has got his gloves on. That's right. This looks like a train wreck waiting to happen up here. I think we should. Yeah. We'll get another pallet here next. Yeah. Let Jay see if he can crash those. Remember, guys, lift with your legs. He says he's not a natural on camera. He's all scared of the camera. Look at him. No camera, no This is a new phenomenon that I realized. People work better under pressure when they're watched. <laughs> when they think they get more.
You gonna get it, Bear Bud? forklift happy again? It's still not quite 100% happy. Man, it'd be nice to have a new Taylor forklift. <laughs> Listen to that backup alarm. That guy's, that guy's dog's probably going crazy right now. Alright, we got a whole bunch more bodies to get out of here. A big old mess to clean up. What are you making there? Yeah, I keep finding these nooses in here. Kind of looks like you made that. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, this, this is a simple one. this jeep suspended from the ceiling using their rope up there it's pretty cool it's when you know you got some good rope right. what do you see up there what do you see up there there's a grip way back there but my arm's only this long it's just not gonna work need plastic man all right we're gonna get the last grill out of there is that it yeah, a grill up there, all right that's all you jack Pallet, you got the real good one.
you think about that hanging frame up there? I'm just floating on the side of the container. So would that take 10 people to put that up there? Maybe that one 12. 12. Because <laughs> they're just tall. You know? yeah. yeah. They stand yeah, on one top. Yeah. On the one. <laughs> Six of them. What were you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. You missed it. You cheated, man. <laughs>
<laughs> what did you say? Well, we got a whole container of Jeep bodies, replacement Jeep bodies unloaded. It's Ramel... hard to unload, but you know, you got to work. Ramel did it all, you know. Look at his gloves, they're all dirty. All this, lifted it with bare hands. Why are your gloves all clean? Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> I washed it. <laughs> all right, we're, we're all going to go eat lunch. <laughs> all right, so if you guys didn't know, Uncle Scott is our main replacement Jeep body specialist. Call him, phone number's down below. We keep all Jeep bodies in stock from 1941 to 1986. That's right. And we've got replacement parts too. We'll show you guys show you some of those. Got wheels, you've seen us unloading, tailgates, floor pans. We've got a whole warehouse stack full of stuff. And Jeep bodies all down through there. Parts in there. She got a little shipping room in here. Lockout hubs. And then we've got our smaller, small Jeep parts in here in the dark. These are all replacement parts, mainly from MD1. So we'll get a little quick interview with those guys here in a second. So if you guys need anything Jeep related, hit us up because we've got, uh, got plenty of parts in here for sure. We got more coming, don't we? We got more on the way. Yep, contact Scott. Phone number, email is in the description below. What we're going to do is actually get some of the uh, extra bodies, load them up, and take them over to the other warehouse. So, how many bodies we got in stock? Uh, probably 75 right now. We got quite a few, so guys, hit us up if you need something. You got a nice full warehouse in here, bud? She's, she's full. She's full. We're getting ready to go to the other warehouse. Put some up on I guess, unless you're gonna come help. I got something to do here. It looks like it. I just got a couple more orders. I gotta get ready for them. Full down both aisles. We're gonna grab the um, Filipinos, Ramel, and RC and get a little bit of history of uh, MD1. Sounds good. How's that sound? Sounds good. All right, we got RC yep. and Ramel. Hey. Ramel's the main guy. What's your title? Keeper of the vibes. Keeper of the vibes. Yeah. He's the boss. You're what, the CEO? Uh, yeah, because it's easy to spell. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so your grandfather yeah. started the company? MD Juan is actually Maximino Dionisio Juan. That's my grandfather's name. So we named the company after him. And uh, he started in 1966. My grandfather was a dentist. That's what the MD come from. Yeah. Well, no. No? Uh, well, he's MD Juan MD. Oh, I, did, I thought the MD was a doctor part, no, so I didn't no, know. No. So, Maximino, his uh, okay. nick nickname was Minong. Anyway, um, so he started as a dentist, but he sold some parts, and he found out that he'll make more money selling parts than he he would if he, you know, his, he just stays a dentist. So, <laughs> he sold his dentist chair to a, to a friend, and then he bought more parts and he sold them. And then there was like a, a need for, for Jeep parts in yeah. the Philippines because uh, when Americans left, they dug a huge hole in the ground, put all the Jeeps there. The After Jeeps. World War II. After yeah. World War II. Yeah. And so the Filipinos dug them up and assembled them and rode the Jeeps, but there were parts missing. So my grandfather tried to supply the parts. We started with the windshield. Uh, but we were hand hammering the windshield before, so he, he bought a press and uh, made it made toolings for it. So we were producing about 200 uh, from from two windshields a week. He went up to 200 uh, a day with, with the press. <laughs> so impressive. yeah, it was, we started uh, just for the domestic market with the M38s, and then in the 1970s, my my father went uh, uh, Bienvenido Juan got into the picture and we started exporting. Uh, and then we met all the dealers in the States. And then uh, that time, my, my, my aunt was in charge of finance. My dad was in charge of uh, sales. Um, so we got into picture in the 90s. We're the third generation ones. And uh, we met you guys. That's <laughs> right. That's been what, five or six years ago or something? Five years ago? Five years, yeah. Yeah, five yep, years. Almost and six. Yeah, so we've it's grown, been good. grown quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, we always love it when you guys come over. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> and, our, and RC, he's in charge of 
I'm in charge of sales and marketing now. S sales and marketing, yep. So, uh, assistant keeper of Dubai. <laughs> he, he keeps track of him, so. <laughs> no, but it's, it's definitely cool when you guys come over. So we may be planning a trip over, I don't know, so. Oh yeah, you're, you're, come you're welcome, out. everybody's welcome. Yeah, everybody can come <laughs> everybody over. Everybody can come. If you want to see us go over there, comment below and maybe we might uh, round up enough comments to come over, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As always, guys, we appreciate you coming over, so. Appreciate you. See ya. All right, all right, we got everything loaded up there. We're going to uh, load up. I think the um, Filipinos are going to come with us, and we're going to take this stuff over to the other warehouse. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We uh, definitely had a great time every time the Filipinos come over, so uh, they're super nice, great people. But uh, we do appreciate you guys watching. So if you liked the video today, definitely hit that like button, that thumbs up button down below, and it helps out a lot. So if you want to see us... Uh, Maybe head over to the Philippines early next year. You definitely might want to consider subscribing so you don't miss out on that. And uh, if we got any Filipino viewers now, so uh, comment below and comment if you guys want to see us head over that way. So we will uh, catch you guys on the next one.